What's up, everybody? Good morning. Jason All here with Ride Detroit uh, and Murals in the Market Tours. Um, here to do a live tour today, man. This is our second one. I'm going to try to kick my energy up, but I'm um, definitely going to give you a great tour today. Uh, energy levels on a different place because uh, clearly what's going on in the world today, man. Um, I'm very proud of my city last night. We came together peacefully and uh, really didn't do any damage. Um, so I'm very proud of that. I'm not here to talk about that, but I thought it was relevant because today I want to start today's mural tour sort of on some pieces that where we can talk about how we need to really and think about how we need to come together. All right. This is a piece and I'm going to get started. Obviously, Rosa means a lot to the city of Detroit. This is Kevin Lido out of Montreal, Canada. Uh, this is a 2019 installation right here. Um, Rosa has done a lot for not only Detroit, but for uh, black people everywhere, man. And so it was only fitting that we pay homage to her. Um, and so Kevin did his thing. Once again, Kevin Lido out of Montreal, Canada. So that's where we're going to start today, man. Um, then we're just going to head around, walk around. And I'm starting on the other side of the market this time. Because when you come on a Murals in the Market tour, when you do the walking tour, it's an hour long. And you see about 80% of the murals that are in the market. When you do the e-bike tour, that tour is an hour and a half, almost sometimes two hours. And you really get to see almost 100% of the murals. So today, I'm going to start on the other side, what you really don't get to see kind of on the walking tour. And then we're going to walk back over and get into some market stuff um, in a second. But this is the stuff that's kind of off the beaten path. And when I say that... Uh, the reason you don't see this 20% on the walking tour is it's slightly outside of the Eastern Market footprint. So if you look on the other side, where I'm walking right now, on the other side of Gratiot, that is true Eastern Market on that side, right? We talked about that mural over there, but we are on the other side of Gratiot today, kind of the lesser known, some of the lesser known stuff over here, all right? So we're gonna go around the corner, and check out, if you, if you know me and you've been around, i probably said this a hundred times, that this is my favorite mural. It goes back and forth. It is easily one of the most magnificent things I've seen. This is Sade Okins out of Mexico City. Now, Sade used a, a bunch of different mediums here. He practices with calligraphy, visual arts, He's going to use some ins do some installation stuff, as you can see. And so he uses a bunch of different methods to get what he wants out of here. And he's studied a bunch of different you know, languages and stuff all over. So this is pretty much, once again, this is the closest I've personally been to this. Because usually when I'm giving this tour, it's from the other side of the street. So that's pretty cool. So just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about as far as like his calligraphy. That is amazing. All right. So it's back here. Once again, I've never even seen this. So thank you. And this is what you get when you come hang out. Because I will take you off the beaten path. And what's cool is we can really just like do whatever. All right. Turn it sideways. How about that? Yeah, man. All right. So... Now we're gonna head back to the other side of the market proper. If you can see off in the distance, a little Hebrew Brantley, he's out of Chicago. Hebrew's got another piece on the other side of the market that is usually where I start the tour and you really get the story of his kids and how his true connection to Detroit. What we found out when we were doing a lot of this stuff is that even though an artist isn't from here, they have a connection to Detroit. And the connection to Detroit on this one was, say, um, Hebrew's wife is from Detroit. So I'll take you by another piece and we'll talk about how he sort of gives his homage to the city of Detroit. All right. So it's going to be a little bit of a second. And if, if you've been on one of my tours or you've talked to me, you'll also learn that I don't do a lot of talking about every single piece because there's just too many pieces in this. For me to cover them in an hour so i'm gonna go over a couple more that are over here on this side
and you don't get to see this one unless you're coming from the east so if you're going east you're not gonna see this one and this is another one that people don't see but right across the flip all right you've got some meg stuff over here from 2016 another one that you wouldn't see a little bit of a hike going into the market so I don't have my mask on once again because I am nowhere near anyone right now so if you are out please continue to practice social distancing I see some people pulling up hang on continue to practice social distancing be safe be smart six feet on our tours we are taking tours of six people right now hopefully soon to expand that to 10 uh, the governor has said that we can gather in groups of 10 or less so we can take uh, tours right now just ask that you wear a mask and we will be safe and we're outside so we'll be cognizant of all that stuff if you feel like you're ready to get out and go come with me we're gonna walk this way Another fave when you're riding in, alum, Hygienic Dress League. Shout out to Steve. I used to work with Steve. This is one of those stories. Like Detroit is one of those places that if you live here you, and you really immerse yourself in the culture of what's going down, you will meet amazing people. So I used to work at the YMCA downtown and uh, shout out to Jillian Eaton who gathered a roster of talent of some of the best artists locally uh, that were around digitally and fine art of the and of the like and so i got the opportunity to work with steve back in the day when he was really getting his start in hygienic dress league so if you know about the blue rhino that was at uh the art festival a couple years ago that was hygienic dress league and they've got some other pieces around town but that's hygienic dress league that we just passed across the street Line up at the candle spot. Okay. We're going to head over here. And I'm going to cross the street. And I'm going to take you in an alley. Not really an alley. Sort of a parking spot. Once again, like a little off the beaten path. We're on grassy. Shout out to People's Records. Keep the vinyl alive. Shout out mad shout out to bethany at well done goods and cyber optics man like i'm telling you she has fought the good fight since day one people keep fucking with her i'm telling you if i catch you out here i'm not even gonna say stop fucking with people who are investing in the city and making a difference all right stop this shit all right another little rant there because every time i see her getting messed with dude it just drives me nuts because what's happening is she's invested in part of the new part of town you know and so it looks like it's an easy place to get and so people potentially do things and i just i'm not into that shit so shout out to bethany shore I'm crossing the street right now all right sorry so they have rain hey man don't be beeping at me man you see i'm working it's detroit man all right there we go 2015 that's sick I want to say hello to everybody thank you for joining the murals in the market live tour today I'm Jason Hall your tour guide the official tour guide of murals in the market what makes us official is we give back 2016 This is one right here that's sort of the piece, man. This is a little nod, a little shout out to my Detroit peoples. J 
Jay Dilla. Moody man getting some love up there. Yeah, yeah. And they're everywhere. All right. At one time, I think we had covered almost 80% of maybe the walls, maybe more, in Eastern Market. So it is always a challenge to find new stuff. But the brilliant minds over there make it work. Shout out to Rula and Jesse and Dan. Paige working hard. Hey, Paige. Now we're getting into the market proper. So we're gonna walk by some other stuff, some interesting stories that are going down once again about how everybody in Detroit knows each other in Detroit. So we're gonna walk by some uh, murals by of musicians and other people of the like. Sorry, I'm fly a bit. Just because I'm looking for what I'm looking for. Hey, if anybody's got any questions, by all means, shoot them at me. Uh, I'm here. If I can answer that question, I will definitely answer it for you. Um, I don't know everything, but the cool thing is, is you guys teach me as much as I teach you. So if I don't know the uh, answer to that question, I will definitely get you that answer. You can shoot me an email at ridedetroit1701 at gmail.com. If you want to shoot me a question or any inquiry, go for it. Or you can go to the RideDetroit.com website, contact me there. Once again, if you have any questions about tour, tour dates, tour times, uh, we do private tours, group tours, bike tours, get a hold of me, we can make it work, all right? So now, like I said, we're getting back into the market proper. I'm gonna flip, flip this cam. As you can see, market not as usual, busy as it usually is, but people still coming out. You will not keep them from their fresh vegetables. You can notice off in the distance, it's almost like saying hi to a friend when you get to the market. You always gotta stop in and say hello to one of the original uh, mar uh, murals in the market. This is actually, we did not do this, but it is a staple and there's no way we would ever even think of going over it or anything of that nature. That is the Eastern Market vegetable. So if you look at it, that is a bull made out of vegetables. So every time you come to the market, now that you know that, it's gonna bug you out and you'll look up. Just look up, say what's up. Like I said, it's almost like a beacon saying what's up to the to the market, all right? Yeah, I, I, Sabino's clearly open. It looks like people are lining up, as they should. Best uh, pizza in the city. All right. What else have you guys been up to this week? I've been busy, man. E-bike business has been booming. There's a national bike shortage right now. National bike shortage. Not my shop is out of bikes. National bike shortage. We do have e-bikes, but it has been pandemonium trying to find people bikes. So that's what my week's been about. That, getting ready for this, because I always get excited for, anytime I'm in a bad mood, I get in a better mood when I come to Eastern Market and do a tour. And I'm not trying to be corny, but you just run into so many good people. And the energy and the vibe is so good, you can't be in a bad mood. I wasn't in a bad mood. I was just up late playing Call of Duty last night. That's a whole nother story. All right. So, here we are now walking up on a second Hebrew Brantley piece that I was talking about. Hebrew out of Chicago. We were talking about how a lot of artists, even though we didn't know it until after the fact, they had a link to Detroit. We talked about how Hebrew's wife was from Detroit. And so if you look at this piece, not only do you have kids in the aviation, but then if you get up close, he pays homage to Detroit with some amazing Detroit iconic imagery where you'll see RoboCop, which is part of
Oh, that's a good idea. Sorry about that freeze up again. I'm getting close to a lot of people. Yeah, I will. Uh, sorry, it keeps freezing up, man. I can't do anything about that. I got the premium. I got the iPhone Max. All right, so I'm walking in this alley right now. Sorry about the freeze ups, everybody. Once again, walking past one of my favorite people in the world. Chief got a major shout out last week from Rula. Man, this cat. There's really no definition for what he is doing right now in the city. Like, if there is a definition of grinding and working and getting it in right now, Sheaf is that dude. So, I'm not going to spend too much time over here because he was just getting major shine when Cats was jitting last week. Last week. Alright. So now we're back here. A lot of our murals aren't necessarily what you would think they are uh, because our artists are not commissioned artists and we can talk about a little bit of that more a little bit more about that on the tour uh, we really can't tell them what to do we just have really three rules no blood no guns and no murder or anything like that so we can we just really collaborate with the owners of the building and make sure that we're doing the right thing but sometimes murals are words they're not always pictures so this is another one of my favorite murals that I run into and people always come through here and they're like Oh, is that a mural? And I'm like, absolutely. Because whenever it says something or it looks good, that's what's up, man. So this looks good. I'm, I'm anal, so I like how straight and everything is. I could never do that. So that's one of my favorite pieces. Walking through the alley at Burt's Warehouse. Burt's Warehouse, one of the most historic places for live music, jazz. Uh, really got its start here. It has converted itself to partially a museum. So if you come through here, you can really talk to, to Jai and Lil Bert and talk to those guys about what really went on in this building. This is another, like, I, I got to give this dude his props, man. This is another, you know, you don't want to attach legend or things like that to anybody's name. But I will definitely attach Pioneer to uh, Shades. Tony Ag, bro. Like, this cat has been doing it big since you were in your diapers. Before, like, anybody was thinking about doing mural art, I remember Tony was doing his thing extra big, like, for World Cup. Like, that's how crazy it was. When Women's World Cup was here, I think Tony did the art for that. And that was, like, in the 90s. So, like, once again, not inventing the wheel, just reinventing how we look at it and how we do things. This mural, I love to start here. Easily one of our most popular murals because this guy could probably run for mayor. Marshall Mathers, Eminem. Crazy story. I said I'd tell some stories. So I used to liken myself to be a concert promoter way back in the day. And so one day I said to myself, I'm going to bring Eminem. And this is way before M was big. Hopefully somebody's watching this that connect me to him because I haven't talked to him in a long time. But I said, you know what? This cat Eminem. Actually, I'm going to keep it real. I was bringing cats out. I was bringing this group hieroglyphics. And I, hadn't, I didn't have an opening act. And people were talking to me about booking Eminem. He was bubbling. He hadn't blown up, but he had, you know, put out the, inf the I think it was the Infinite, Infinite EP and some stuff. So he was bubbling. And uh, so this cat, Mark Kempf, shout out to Mark Kempf, used to manage M. So Mark called me and was like, yo, would you mind letting M get on the mic, you know, do his thing? And I was kind of like, believe it or not, I'm from the West Side. And M and them were like all kind of, to me, East Siders. And so I was like, eh, eh. Then I was like, bet, go ahead and do it. So I let him do his thing. That particular show, I paid him zero dollars. Not because I could, I didn't want to pay him, but I couldn't pay him. Back then, promoting wasn't making all kinds of money like it is now. So I wanted to pay him, but couldn't pay him. He didn't, he didn't bug out. He was a, one of the coolest dudes. So cool, in fact, that the next show I did, I brought a cat named Raskas. Raskas at the time was one of the illest like lyricists around. He had just put out this seven minute, like almost freestyle called Soul on Ice. He was really blowing up. And I thought as a lyricist, he should be matched with M. So I bring M out, boom. This time I'm gonna pay M $250, all right? Bet. M comes up to me, one of my favorite things. At the beginning of the show, he comes up and he says, yo, do you mind if I use my own wireless mic? I'm like, dude, you can use whatever you want. I'm just trying to make this show happen. 
I'm gonna give it to you real. Eminem actually blew Raskas off the stage. In fact, when he opened for Hieroglyphics, he actually, I mean, they had an energy. It was 13 dudes in that group. So he couldn't really beat that. But in reality, he actually kind of shined Hyro on their own stage. So that's my story about Eminem. First show, zero dollars. Second show, 250. He thanked me on his album. He thanks me on some stuff. Major shout out to the dude, man, because if I hadn't have done that show, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at today because through that became all my other entrepreneurial stuff. So shout out to him. Shout out to Michael Vasquez and Jose Felix Perez for doing this mural and allowing me to connect you guys to that story, man, because that's Detroit. All right. Now, off we go. Now, we talk about how you won't see all the murals. If you look over this fence, I'm going to try to show you. There's some other murals over there that you would see if you were on the uh, on the mega tour. All right, if we were on the bicycles. So now we're gonna walk up this alley, man, and uh, go talk about this piece across the street from Ben Hall. Once again, man. Oh, if you want to participate once again as an artist, by all means, go to muralsinthemarket.com. All the information on how you can participate in any way, not just as an artist, and keep up to date on information, get merch, all that stuff is available on uh, muralsinthemarket.com or onetimesrun.com has all, a bunch of prints, so if you want to go check those out too, all right? So that's how you can get involved. Thumbs up. There you go. So walking through this alley, so I'm vegetarian, but... I cannot help but walk past these ribs and say this barbecue smells good. Let me put my mask on and see if I can holler at these fools real quick on some barbecue. I mean, not getting some, but. All right. There we go. Gotta get our safety on. What's happening, fellas? What's happening, man? Happy Saturday. I'm out here doing a live murals in the market tour. So I just, I'm trying to talk to the personalities that make up the market, baby. Yes, sir. Talk to them about what's up. Well, hey, we're at first, brother. 33 years in Vegas, 33 years gone. So, uh, hard to keep the man down. We start back up. We, we grill him again. We're doing a social distancing. And so the big red gets the word, we're going to go back to fire. That's what's up, brother. All right. You know you're going to see me. Walking across the street. You can't keep people can't keep people away from their barbecue. Thank you, officer. Thank you. You gotta thank the the boys in blue. They ain't all bad. They ain't all bad. Nothing will step away from that shit. They ain't all bad, man. I'm gonna tell you personally, every cop I know is a good cop. So fuck y'all. Sorry. I take that back. I'm emotional. Stop this, man. There's good people, there's bad people. Alright. <sighs> they got me fenced off, but that's all right. These are fire hoses. Ben Hall. I'm going to get a hold of Ben and actually talk about how many there are here and how he went about doing that. On the In future shows, what we're going to do is... What's up, Zag, baby? We're going to actually bring some artists out. You can go ahead. We're going to bring artists out and we're actually going to talk about their inspiration and what made them... You know, brought them to this point. So I'm gonna talk to Ben, see if I can get him out here to really talk about this and talk about his other endeavors, man. Because if you know, a lot of these dudes and they, ladies and men are not just one trick ponies. They're not just in one sense of doing things. Ben has got businesses on businesses. So I, I'm gonna try to get a hold of him and see if I can get him out here and talk to me. All right, got my mask off again. Mask off. Shout out to Future. Mask off. Plants on plants on plants. Flowers on flowers on flowers. Come on down. You can always get your plants and your flowers and your veggies. Even during this time. They're going to... Uh, Dan Carberry and the team over here is always working hard to figure out a safe way to get people food at an affordable way. A lot of people don't know they think that the reason we started murals in the market, in Eastern Market, was because of the ability to put a lot of paint on a lot of walls. 
But in reality, the reason that we started it here, I'm, saying, the re I, I'm used to saying we because of some other stuff, we'll talk about it. The reason they started it here was because they wanted to bring attention to what's going on in the market. All right, that this is a place where everybody can come and get affordable food at a good rate in the city of Detroit. All right, organic produce from all over. Here's Bob Seastock, another Detroit staple. Bob has been doing his thing forever in Detroit and it was late in the game that we got to this piece, but this is a permanent installation now that will be in Eastern Market and won't be going anywhere. All right, so that was Bob Seastock from 2018. Bob C stop. Alright. Now we're gonna keep moving. Oh, 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 watch it. Watch it. We're gonna walk up on one of Carlos Kneeblock's windmills. Carlos Kneeblock, once again, I talked about him on the last tour briefly. One of these weeks I'm gonna do a bike tour. I'm gonna take you guys over there live. Um, if you don't get a chance to go by Carlos's what I call sort of compound museum warehouse where he does all this stuff he is a master metal worker who's uh, done some amazing things and this is one of them right here so every one of these windmills actually is a uh, our satellite dishes that have been recycled and this actually does provide power okay it can be hooked up to things there are a couple more windmills a little more east of here off in the garden uh, maybe we'll see those but these are functional so you can talk to Carlos about talk about alternative energy we're in a new place right now where we're talking about a whole new world so alternative energy should be a definite part of that conversation and it looks awesome too I'm just that dude like that's what we want we want function and you know cool and there's nothing cooler than functional what's happening brother you know what I'm trying to survive out here like everybody else, brother. Oh, oh. I'm out here. Let me put my mask on. Let me let me uh, adhere to protocol. I'm out here doing a live tour for uh, Mills in the Market. So Okay. I will holla at you. Yep. All right, brother. Good to see you. Uh, beauty of Detroit. Some people might be annoyed by stuff like that. Like, oh my God, some stranger just came up to me and I didn't know him and he was talking and soliciting his wares. Oh, that was right for a two cent joke right now. Oh, that was right. I'm gonna keep that one to myself because I was, come up to you it's regular because what's happening look at you still looking good with your mask on always matched up like i said that's not really detroit man you can't really operate like that here man we we invented the dap dap each other up we i tell you what i've been in cities all over the world all over the world there's no other place like Detroit where people acknowledge that you be in New York, you walk in, you be like, what's up? They look at you like you're crazy. In Detroit, different vibe. The other day a lady said, hey, excuse me, do you mind telling me which way to go to get to Woodward? I said, I'm actually heading that way on my bike. Why don't you get in your car and follow me? my idea that's a t-shirt <laughs> we giving up good ideas all right here we go walking up to another one this is the dabbles african bee museum and what i love about this particular piece is the layers all right so when you step back the first thing that really caught my eye was the mirrors but then as you get closer you start to notice the birds you start to notice the figures inside. And I think that's important. And then what's cool is, then it interacts with mirrors. So not only do you get a look at the art, but you get a look at yourself. Man, I'm dropping all kinds of gems. 
today. <coughs> Excuse me on the cough. Oh, they will absolutely ship to Cali. They will absolutely ship to Cali. There's a power block with USB for people to use it. Okay, okay. I don't know what that means, but maybe that means something about my phone. Once again, holler at me. <clears throat> now we're going to walk this way. Got about another 30 left on the tour. Trust me, a ton of stuff. You know what? I'm going to walk you up on the bridge and uh, show you the other dabbles piece too. While I'm walking this way, why not? And if you want to look up an interesting story about the next couple pieces, look up uh, what's going on with the Dabbles Muse Art Museum and some legal things that are going on. I don't know if they want me to talk about it. I want to. I want to because we win it. Because that's dumb shit. But look it up if you want to. I'll walk you over here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to try to take an alternative route through here. Because I'm going to show you some other stuff that I didn't show you. And this is some other stuff that even I, sometimes, because of the route that I take, depending on that, I see it, but I always forget that it's right there. So we're going to be walking for not a second. You can see Sky Hawking over my, corn, uh, over my shoulder. So it's not like you'd be walking for a ton of time and wouldn't see art. We're just walking, and I'm not talking about every piece of art. But there is art everywhere there's art that we did art that's that we didn't do there's amazing stuff going on but like i said i sometimes i'd rather talk to you what's happening man let me put my mask on and say what's up you know i gotta get proper man when i get within six feet of my family when you come down here you really do become part of a family man and uh my Easter Market family, and I gotta say what's up to them every man. This is what makes us what's up, baby. You know, I'm out here doing a little live mural tour. You know, let me slide over. See, look at that cracking. There's that safety going down, like I was talking about. Once again, the Easter Market staff is always gonna make sure that you are in the safest possible situation and uh, it's most convenient for you to get. Your veggies and things of that nature, all right? And like we talk about, man, so we talked about, I talked about how everybody in Detroit is hustling. What? What you doing? Talk to him. Tell him. Five my hustle? Yes, sir. Come on. Uh, doing this, providing safety, food for people, you know. And what's the side it. hustle? The side hustle is DJing. That's what's up. Give DJing him a on Zoom, on Instagram Live, DJ Seven Wells. Yes, yes. Just trying to provide a good vibe through this time. That's it. That's so, what's up. That's what's up, bro. Like pull it up, pull up. That's what. Give them the give them the tag again. Where can they find you? DJ Seven Wells on Instagram. I DJ live on Wednesdays from eight to eleven. So there it is. Pull up. There it is. My man's in them. I'll see you soon, brother. Stay up. Right, hey, you stay healthy. All right. I'm doing it. Kevin, I see you, Kevin Lyons. That is the fact that Kevin Lyons is in the Instagram live right now telling me, you know I'm going by your piece, Kevin. Stop this. Oh, you're going to... Oh, yeah, I'm on my way there, Kevin, right now. I'm like, give me three minutes and then uh, we'll make some magic happen. You just made my afternoon, brother. Kevin Lyons, one of my favorite artists in the world. And I'm not just saying that because... He's in the Instagram live right now. When every summer he brings in energy to Detroit and to the murals that is unmatched. He's one of those dudes that every time I bring a tour through, he comes down off the scissor lift. He talks to people he, and not because that's his job, because for what I, I mean, he's just a rad dude, man. So Kevin, yeah, man. Thank you, brother. I'm a, uh, let's see. I'm going to hit one little thing in the street if I can. And then I'll be there in a second, Kev. I'm a block away. I'm tempted to even run because I'm so excited. I was going to show you guys a mural over here of a turkey or a chicken. But oddly enough, it's covered up by a big uh, portable grill. So, the irony of that. So, Kev, we're about to be there, man. 
show you guys some cool art that is not mural it's original art every time i walk past here this this is not us but this art is awesome and that's what i'm saying mural art has existed forever so don't think that we admit we're inventing the wheel we're just showcasing new local and international talent all right here we are You guys are in for a treat. Kevin, what's yeah, up? What up? Hey, what up, dude. What, up? what are you up to, brother? Not much. I was just watching you guys, and I thought, you're close, so I thought I'd throw a message. Absolutely, man. We are here. I'm going to back up so I don't get hit by a car, because the market is bumping. But I know. That's great to see. It is. You know, in this time, it was a little bit of a worry. But you can't keep people from good community and good food. Yeah, no, I hear you. All right, so you want to talk to him for a second about this particular piece? Yeah, what's funny is the mural that you just passed, the the one that's originally was in mural was in the market, the one that was the watermelons that you just showed. That was a huge inspiration. Like all the colors in this mural actually come from that mural. Okay. Um, so I was really cognizant when I was making. Um, yeah, the one down there. I don't mind you walking back there either. But like when I saw that mural, it's one of my favorite murals in the whole market. And it's not a contemporary artist. It's not. It was created basically to advertise that there was a fruit, fruit, um, you know, at that building. So I used a lot of the colors and stuff from that and even the line quality and stuff to go into this one. And it turns out this is a multidisciplinary building that's used now by a bunch of artists. Um, you probably know the name of them. It escapes me right now. But, um, but this used to be a fruit a building where they basically distributed fruit out of um, like 25, 30 years ago. So I only found that out because the former son of the owner of the, of the company drove past one day and said, how did you know this was a fruit company? And I was like, I didn't. I that was not a space so um but yeah this is one of the most fun this is probably the most fun i ever had in detroit doing a mural for sure and the biggest one i have in detroit wow and how many do you have total do you know off your off the top uh, um there's like five in detroit now in yeah. varying degrees of uh yeah because i've i've done uh four total of the murals in the market and then we we did one for um a restaurant there that's not there anymore four yeah four total is still there yeah yeah when you come not only are you here just to do work but you are really in the involved in with villa and donuts i mean talk about your love for detroit oh yeah no i i fell in love with that i was the only reason I showed up in uh, murals in the market was because I was really, you know, I was into what One Times Run was doing. I had met them in Hawaii at um, Pawa, Hawaii, which One Times Run would take part in every year. And then they invited me to murals in the market, but I immediately fell in love with the city. So I, I just basically will pay my own way to go to murals in the market. Just give me a wall is what I tell Jesse and Rula because um it's just such a crazy great city and from the very first mural i did i've had nothing but amazing experiences there and all different types of experiences the people when i was painting this one the detroit lions game <laughs> so that you had all the tailgaters there and they were barbecuing in front of it and everything so it's 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 a crazy corner this corner too so you meet so many people and so many people come by and it's just an awesome city and I have nothing but great things to say about Detroit. Yeah. That's the one from just this past year. I had to do a small one because I was flying out to Korea, right? Like a day after I got there. So we bumped a, a small one here and actually this matches the Miss van one that's right down the way, which is probably, yeah. So those colors I got from the Miss van mural, which is one of my favorite, probably third or maybe top five murals in murals in the market is this miss van one and then the other miss van one on the brick wall yeah that's that's you know back towards um 
Grash It, that one is amazing. It's on Grash It, I guess, but that one's amazing. So both of her murals are pretty insane. Love both of them. So I got a lot of the color from that. And then the whole, we painted the whole building. I mean, one time's run wound up painting the whole building that color blue. So it really works with everything. So this was really fun. I'd love to do the whole. So. Well, let's get you planned to come back here, man, and do some more work. Oh, there's no planning. I'm always coming back. <laughs> That's what's up, man. What you got going on right now? Anything you want to talk about? Um, just working right now, like trying to deal through a lot of things got canceled. A lot of stuff uh, got crazy, but I am doing a board uh, for Go Skateboarding Day with One Times Run. So that'll be released, I think, June 15th or June 20th. I'm not sure the exact release, but check out OneTimesRun.com. They're going to release some monster skateboards. Um doing a collection right now with adidas uh for a global collection for kids just for kids so that's really fun um you know and just illustrating doing a lot of different um t-shirts for businesses that need a little bit of help um and want to sell some other merchandise um and just having a good time like trying to stay focused and keep working through all this you know Awesome, man. Awesome. Try, to, try to start getting outside, so. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I appreciate what you do. I love the um, color commentary, and I love that you always ask what the side hustle is because that's pretty much been my whole life as a side hustle. So um, it's great to – I love when you're like, what are you doing? you like the guard you just had on, but you know he had a side hustle, so. For sure, for sure. Because <laughs> I think that you just came out and you just had started doing all these massive murals. People don't know there was, I mean, actually, can we talk about what's your background on this? Because people don't know that you've been doing a lot of work in art for a long time before you were doing this. Oh, yeah. No, I never did a mural until I was 40 probably was my first mural so I went 40 years without doing a mural I I was too young for graffiti and painting on walls um and I'm a little too old to sort of be at the beginning of the mural uh phase but um people kept pushing me to make the work bigger and one times run and powwow took a chance on me uh doing the murals and I've been able to translate them to a larger scale but when I first started, everything was on paper, pencil, computer. I started as a designer, art director. Now I've morphed into an illustrator. So the monsters actually really are great for walls. Um, and this monster fruit uh, type of monster fruit and veggies is just a variation on that. So, um, yeah, I love the scale of doing a mural. And I love the public art version, you know, the public art idea of doing a mural. And I often talk about my biggest influence is Keith Haring and the fact that he started at, with small drawings and then became a mural painter. But he, he looked at murals as a way to communicate with the community, to relate to people. I mean, it's the most fun that I have because I'm not thinking about anything. I'm just concentrating on covering the wall. Um, and so for me, it's like, you know, it's such a great, great experience. I'm also like really, I like being physical. So I love the physicality of working on the wall itself. So, and you guys have just so many great artists that are so good. Um, it was really helpful to, to do a lot of murals in Detroit because I learned so much about doing murals, the process. Um, you know, there's guys like Craig and Pietro at one times run. Kelly Golden is a great, uh, uh, mural painter there, um, the Rutt sisters, um, Leah Rutt, uh, who's also involved with uh, One Times Run, and just being around other mural artists and learning techniques, learning different ways of working. Um, yeah, it's been awesome. So, Wow, man. Once again, thank you for taking the time. I don't want to hold you up, man. It, the sun is out where I am. Yeah. So hopefully you can get out and get some sun or maybe yes, get some indeed. The sun is the sun is in New York as well, so we're good. That's what's up, man. All right, I'll yeah. talk to you.
Okay, talk to you later. Uh, shout to Ghostbeard, too. I don't want to forget. Ham Tramming. Make it my way that way. Detroit's finest. <laughs> All right, brother. I'll talk to you later. Thank you, man, for having me. Yep. Bye. Peace. Wow. So there you have it, everybody. You never know who's watching live and who's going to sign on. That I hope that for you was as amazing as it was for me. Kevin's one of my favorite artists in the world. And to get to talk to him and to hear a little more background on him is something that is amazing. So thanks again. Shout out to Kevin Lyons. So I'm making my way this way. And there you go. It's all about inspiration. I didn't even know the stories of how those colors tied to those colors. And so now I get to pass that information along. And that's what's cool about this tour is every single time I come on it, I learn something new, whether it be from an artist, whether it be from Rula or Jesse. I mean, every single time. So please, by all means, you can book your tour at Ride Detroit, ridetroit.com. Come hang out with me. We can either ride bikes or we can go on a walk. And uh, maybe we can even plug some artists into that. So let me know what you want to do, all right? We're going to make our way down to the aforementioned ghost beard, but you cannot walk past these without saying what's up. And once again, last week, we talked, a couple weeks ago, we talked about Freddie Diaz. Freddie Diaz is uh, over in Southwest Detroit. He's doing some amazing work. I'm here to work on his own over there with his own project. I'm going to try to get a hold of Freddie to see if he can meet me out and talk to me as well. All right. My next thing I'm moving on to down the street here man i am still pumped about that i got so many artists on my list that i want to have out I'm, I'm gonna have sydney out sydney doesn't know this yet so sydney james you hear this sydney's gonna come out one of these weeks if i can catch her uh rick rick williams i'm gonna probably talk to rick next week see what rick is doing but on this i'm gonna try to bring you as much behind the scenes and as much info on artists as i can that just kind of became my new thing. So if any artist actually uh, from the Mural Project is watching live, by all means, hit me with the sign in button and I will plug you in. But I want to give everybody as much background as I can. All right, here we go. The aforementioned Patch Whiskey and Ghost Beard. Got to say what's up. This building actually has been sold, but from what I understand, the owners are actually going to build around the art. I don't know if that's true. I hope that's true because I would hate to see a piece like this go. But we do all know that artwork is temporary, and so if it goes, we'll just replace it with something just as beautiful. Once again, I just talked about Rick Williams. Rick, if you're watching, you know you're coming on. What's happening? What up, James? Man. Thank you for being a part of this and, and tuning in. Every week I do this. Every Saturday, 11 a.m., I'm going to do a live tour until we get through this thing, man, because we got to keep reaching out to each other. We got to keep contact in as many ways as we can, and we got to keep those brains moving as much as we can. So every Saturday, 11 a.m., I will be here doing my thing. Next week, on my, on my word, I'm giving away some shit. I don't know what shit that is, but I'm going to give it away. I always like to give it away. That's why a lot of my businesses fail. Anyway, that's a whole other thing. All right? You cannot come through here without saying what's up to B-Mike. B-Mike, man, this dude right now, he is, once again, this is one of them dudes. All these people are entrepreneurs above and beyond the artwork. So Rick is doing work, once again, with Puma. He's doing work with Reebok, Jansport. Uh, burn rubber. Uh, B Mike is doing, I think I saw him on the NBA last week. I mean, these, if you come to me through murals, you are one of the artists that are to be watched. All right. I got about 10 minutes left. Check out this wheezy piece right here. Excuse me. Thanks, Jamie. I love Mike. Man, what a beautiful 
today. I'm glad that this weather finally broke. I'm going to walk around the corner, show you one of the biggest squirrels that we have from Shark Tooth, T-O-O-F. I was riding my bike the other day, and uh, I'm riding like this little crazy fancy e-bike thing because I'm working track. And I'm passing guys on like these older mountain bikes. One of them was Shark Tooth. Just out on a mountain bike ride, you know, in the streets. That's what we do. Shark Tooth, you can actually go talk to him at the high dive in Hamtramck if you would like to. But as we get up on this, you'll really start to see the scale. And then I'm going to flip it around. Show you this couple behind me. He was high behind me. So there you go. Shark Tooth. That piece actually got damaged some years ago. And then they fixed it. That's what's up, man. You know what I mean? They could have just said, hey, it's art, but they fixed it. I'm going to go down this alley. Like I said, man, everywhere you turn. Shout out to Ife. If you want to meet Ife, walk right across the market. Listen for the drums. You'll find them. You'll find the man. Uh, what's cool about these is when you're walking, we get to bring people back here. And a lot of times, or sometimes, And when you get them to where we're going, slow. Got to give my weekly shout out to my ex neighbors. Tiny and Shayna, also known as Clown Tears. If you want to see some more of Shayna's work, you can go to Anti Hero in Ferndale. If you've been in the bathroom there, you've seen some of her stuff. And I guarantee you that you've actually probably taken a selfie in front of it. Incredibly talented young ladies. Don't put it on me. Oh, don't, okay. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. No, don't put this guy. He's cheating on his wife. He can't be seen. <laughs> what you got? That's why. Ah! I didn't see nothing. Okay. I didn't see nothing. You working hard, brother. Thank you for doing what you do. <laughs> Where? Lines. Big lines. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. You get in trouble. Uh-oh. See? I tell you, every week, I love it. I was just out here having a beer. That's all. I just want to have a beer on this break, man. Nothing, I don't drink, nothing, but who am I? Nothing wrong with the man wanting to have a beer on his break. Okay, so this is what's up. Not art, but if you know what this is, clearly it is art. Because skateboarding is an art. Or biking can be an art. Because look at the ingenuity there. Kids are wall riding that. That's what's up, man. That's why I fuck with them kids, man. Tony Hooligan. I'm going to get Tony out here. He's a busy man. You got to hit Tony's, like, entertainment director or executive director up and try to get them out here. But I'm going to get, man, I'm going to get Tony out here. When he's not making shirts, touring, doing art, speaking publicly at children's schools, motivating the youth, Maybe I can lock him down for some menial work with me. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I will check out the dumpsters. Camillo, another Detroit staple. Camillo, we talk about today's show really could be called Side Hustle. Because it is true. Everybody I've showed you, what's happening, brother, has a side hustle. Camillo is a little bigger than, than, than others. Camillo redesigned the Ford GT50, so he's heavily involved with uh, supercars and things of that nature. So when he's not out here hanging out doing murals, he's uh, probably working on a supercar, Ferrari, or something of that nature. This is what I was going to walk by, and I think I'm going to get close to ending today's tour. 
you got to do it. I think every week I'll show you guys a different one of the uh, ground uh, mosaics. Mosaics. That's cherry pie. I believe. Yes, yes, yes. Some of them are disappearing, but uh, there's still a few in the market, man. So come through. The ground is always changing. The world is always changing. So you got to get in and see it while it's here. Did I do all right today, everybody? Uh, if you have any questions, once again, about how to, to do a tour, go to ridedetroit.com or you can uh, go to murosinthemarket.com for all information. If you want to go look at some prints from some of these amazing artists, One Times Run is the place to go. There's the... Uh, chicken or you know i don't know man it, you tell me you email me some people say chicken some people say turkey once again i'm vegetarian it's all bird to me but uh oh what's up with that mustang piece yeah that's camilla once again man get a hold of me i'll take you and give you the real deal on all of this all right everybody 12 o'clock i gotta get back to work thank you for hanging out this week Thanks to Kevin Lyons for coming in and stopping in and blessing us with some knowledge and uh, being my first guest on the live. You know, I think next week you might even get crazy and just call people, like set it up. I'm getting all kinds of ideas here. So every Saturday, 11 a.m., live, Murals in the Market Instagram. I go live. Jason with Ride Detroit, Detroit's only e-bike only tour 